So in this section, let's look at uh, what are AT commands, where are they used, and what are some of the standards that define the AT commands. AT commands are uh, sort of commands used to communicate with modem devices. So you have different types of modem devices. You have the old dial-up modems. These are uncommon these days, but uh, these are the low-speed modems that are used to communicate with your phone lines. You also have the cellular modems that work on the same network that are used for the cell phones. So cellular modems are primarily used in the machine to machine or internet of things type network and devices. An example would be a SIMCOM SIM 900 module. Cellular phones are also a type of modems. I remember in addition to using it for voice communication, it's also used for data transfer. The purpose of AT commands is, you know, depending on the modem you're using, so it's primarily to get the, the modem info. So you can get uh, what is the type of the modem, the model number, manufacturer, software version and whatnot. But the real purpose of those modems is to send receive data, whether it's over the phone itself, uh, your phone parts network or a cellular network. You can also use it to send receive fax. The cellular modems, in addition to supporting the above functions, they also you can use the commands to get your signal strength. You can make voice calls and you can also do things that are specific to the cellular network which is send, receive SMS, access phone book, set up a TCP IP connection or set up a UDP connection, have an HTTP connection to a web server send receive files through FTP or send MMS type messages. So you have it commands can also be used for these purposes. The cellular AT commands are actually defined in a spec. The spec is called 3GPP TS27.007 so you can access the spec in this link. So in fact, let's look at the spec at glass. You can see that so this is a, it sees a standards body that is responsible for setting standards for all uh, wireless communication. So they define the AT command set that are supported by the cellular modems. So here you can see the type of commands that are supported in the spec itself. So you have the general call control commands, the network service commands. So you can check what network is the service is a, is a device working on? What's the subscriber number? Then you have uh, commands to initiate call and get status. You have commands to get errors uh, if there is any issues with the, the call calls. So the commands for the packet domain, so this is these are the main commands that are used to set up a data call. So you have eight commands to do that. So you can, so this spec is available online, so you can take a look at it. So 
So you could see that you know the spe the the support for the commands are pretty extensive. However, not all model vendors support all the commands that are defined in the spec. They generally support a subset of commands that are essential, such as you know, getting the device information, setting the data call, voice call, and SMS. But typically, what you see is the module vendors they implement the proprietary commands that are not defined in the spec. For example, commands to set up a TCP IP connection, an UDP connection, set up a HTTP connection to a web server, FTP commands, GPS commands. If you look at the spec, these are not defined as part of the spec. So what ends up happening is each module vendor implement their own proprietary commands to support these functions. So that's the introduction for AT commands. So now in further tutorials we will look into how to use these AT commands with the different body vendors. Thank you.